Hi, everyone. We did it. We filled up 2018-19 Panini Prism Basketball. All 12 boxes. 12 box. Pick your team number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Another, another uh, pick your team already in the store, so check it out. And here's the case right here. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into the action on a Tuesday. Thanks, everybody. EA winning the Suns in our Suns spot random. And Nick LaPlante with Last Spot Mojo, Washington Wizards. There you go. So thanks to those two. Thanks, everybody. And this is also a promo break as well. Well, Arthur says, without things on the wall, it looks like we're going out of business. No, I'm sure, I'm sure by, the, by the number of sold outs on jazbeescasebreaks.com, we're clearly not going out of business. I think we're, I think we're preparing for, uh, I think we're preparing for Christmas decorations. I don't know when that's happening. I'm not in charge of that either. I'm not, I'm not in charge of anything. I'm not in charge of anything. We'll get stuff back there. All right. So we got four columns of three to make 12. Good luck, everybody. So we're looking for two autographs and 22 prisms per box on average. Good luck, everyone. Uh, no, Matt Appleby, we are not. Because we don't have any more. We might get more. Prison Basketball, ladies and gentlemen, always a popular release every year. Especially this year with the with another great rookie class. Last year's was great. This year's is great. Next year's is going to be great. So we've got a good few years, at least, of some good basketball. And remember, for those of you who aren't familiar with uh, collecting basketball, the secondary market value on this stuff is pretty incredible, even for just the parallels. Sometimes the parallels can sell better than, better than some of the autographs. Classic supply and demand situation. Not too many players on a basketball team. Only two rounds of a draft. There's Joel Embiid to 199. So in the interest of time, those we're going to um, set aside and have our shipping team sleeve and top load those. Unless it's like 25 or less. Like that Danny Green. Jeff Teague, not numbered. Scotty Pippen, nice. Out of 299. I don't think those Derek, those ones aren't. That'll ship, but it's not numbered. Go hard or go home. Anthony Davis revealing an Andrew Wiggins autograph. Nice. It's a nice start for Daisuke with the Timberwolves. Spellman. Kobe. Josh Hart, 
That's still rookie Josh Hart? Troy Brown Jr. for the Wizards at a 299 for Nick LaPlante. What are they going to do with this guy? What are the Sixers going to do with that guy? Carmelo in his OKC gear for the Rockets. Not on the Rockets anymore. We'll save some of these rookies right here too, the rookie parallels. And Wilson Chandler at a 99. Jamal Murray playing against my Lakers right now. Lakers down. Nuggets are leading 74 58. Clint Capella revealing a Brooke Lopez Bucks edition. There you go. Nice autograph for the Milwaukee Bucks. John Okre. I kind of wish, uh, John, that my Lakers re signed Brooke Lopez. Nice Mo Bamba right there, too. All right, next box. Yeah, is that a fake Josh Hart rookie? I was gonna, it must, that's an error, right? NBA scoreboard for Tuesday, the 27th of November. Raptors beat the Grizzlies 122-114. The Hawks edging out the Heat 115-113. Pistons beat the Knicks 115-108. And the Suns are 10 points ahead, or the Pacers are 10 points ahead of the Suns, 77-66, middle of the third quarter. And my Lakers still down, 78-62 to the Nuggets in Denver. The Nuggets having a very solid season. All right, so so Josh is saying that that it was just a uh, it was a screw up. So Josh Hart has the has an RC logo, but Shea Gilgis SGA does not. And Milos. But Tia Dosich has a rookie logo on there. Interesting. There's Wesley Matthews to 149. Marshawn Brooks. Grizz playing some good basketball. Russell Westbrook to two ninety nine for OKC. D'Angelo Russell at a one ninety nine. Julius Irving. Nice Bill Russell. Kawhi Leonard. Joel Embiid and Colin Sexton autograph? Yes. For the Cavs. Jason Jones and the Cavs.
Nice one, Jason. DeAndre Jordan as a Mav. Chris Middleton for the Bucks as 75. Yeah, that's good. That's hashtag good for the hobbies. Colin Sexton looking good. Luka Doncic has been looking good. That's also hashtag good for the hobby. I'm telling you folks, last year, this year, and probably the next year, there's D. Wade. It's 299. Great rookie classes. It's it's a good time to invest in some of this uh some of this hoops, ladies and gentlemen. You know, guys like this. I'll save this one, but it's the it's the silver parallels that are gonna be the ones that get a significant amount on the uh secondary market. Sensational signatures, Bogdan Bogdanovich for the Kings. That'll be for Mark. Now O with that one. Next box. It's like a, you know, the basketball seed's not very old. And I feel like a lot of just ca kind of casual fans won't even pay attention to basketball until like what, after after the Super Bowl, right? And then you switch into basketball. That, that's what I do with college basketball. I don't even pay attention until to college basketball until after the Super Bowl. Because that's when like, you're like, oh, I better start paying attention for, for my bracket. But here's how it shakes out in the standings thus far. The Toronto Raptors leading the East with an 18-4 record, followed by the Milwaukee Bucks. They've been playing some good basketball. They've got the Bucks, I think, have the best point differential in the NBA. They're plus 11.1 points on the points per game. They're outscoring their opponents on average by 11 points, double digits. That's a lot. So Raptors and Bucks on top, top two in the East. And the Clippers, of all people, Clippers and Warriors. Talk to, I don't know how long that's going to last for the Clippers. But Clippers also playing some good basketball, too. Nice Ben Simmons to 299. And I think ever since, uh, ever since Doc Rivers just stayed as Coach Doc Rivers and not Coach, GM, President of Basketball Ops Doc Rivers. Um, I think that that helped a lot. There's Costas onto the compo. Yes, they are related. Paul Millsap to 99. So ever since that happened with the Clippers, it seems like Doc Rivers has really... Uh, He's really been focusing on the coaching part of things. It's been good for the Clippers. Josh Okogie for the Timberwolves. Daisuke with that one. There's LeBron, not in his Lakers uniform yet, but there he is. Hassan Whiteside to 299. There's LeBron again. Fireworks. I'm sure some of those inserts as a Laker. We'll do it. There's some talk that talk about Bradley Beal perhaps coming to the Lakers. There's been some trade chatter about that. Be interesting. Wizards team sort of imploding. Nice Wendell Carter Jr. Silver for the Bulls. EA with that one. There's Josh again, rookie silver. Nice DeAndre. I think I saved one of those already. We're looking for a silver DeAndre Ayton. That, that'll be pretty nice. Quinn Cook out of 149. Nerlens Noel, Damari Carroll. Nice 
think there should be one more autograph in this box. There it is. Bruce Brown. Sensational signatures for the Pistons. That'll be for Calvin. Nice Trey Young right there for the Hawks. That goes to Brenton. All right. Yeah, we definitely will. We definitely will. All right. Um, is that what they're asking for Bradley Beal, Jason? Kuzma or Ingram for Bradley Beal? I don't think that's going to happen. But I do think that that by the trading deadline, someone's going to be gone. That's that's the that's the speculation around here. It's basically whoever doesn't play well with LeBron James. Everyone's between now and the trading deadline in February. It's basically who can play well with LeBron James. Excuse me. So now, yeah, everyone, you think Lonzo probably, right? But here's the thing. Lonzo and LeBron have actually been a good pairing. They actually play well together. The advanced stats say so, anyway. Marvin Bagley the third. But those stats are not as strong between LeBron and Ingram. Ingram may have more have may have the bigger value anyway. Nice Trey Young. Jalen Brown. So that's for the that's for Brenton and the Hawks. So so what is that going to go for? Does anyone know what that's going to go for on secondary mark? I know they're pretty valuable, but let's get an actual number figure on there just to give people who don't know an idea. But what's up, Ke? What's going on? So about that's about seventy-five to a hundred. That Wendell Silver's worth about fifty. Actually, I should pull that Wendell Silver. I know there were some nice rookie silvers that we had here. So, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That'll that'll give you an idea of the value of those uh, of those silvers. Which are which are pretty popular. But so G State Dubs saying low post podcast suggested Ingram, KCP, and Stevenson and a pick for Beal. I feel like that's a lot. I feel like they want to. There's Tony Parker, Charlotte edition, sensational signatures. It's pretty cool. And that goes to Paul Nixon and the Hornets. There we go, Paul. Wait, did I miss a hyper of Mo Bamba? Uh, we gotta, we gotta throw him in there too, right? There was a regular Luca. Oh yeah, there was. Well, if I miss any, don't worry, folks. The, sh the shipping team will. Sorting and shipping team will sleeve and top load these. Just in the just in the interest of time, we're trying to move through this a little bit more quickly. We've got some other other breaks backed up. Lakers 
I think if the Lakers move Ingram, they want to move him for um, for possibly Anthony Davis. Package Ingram up with Anthony Davis and something and something and something. You know, and try to pry Anthony Davis away from the Pelicans. But I don't I don't think I don't think they they'd move Ingram for Bradley Beal. I saw no OB to one ninety nine. We'll save one of these regular ones here, but we'll look for a silver Kevin Knox as well. Zano Obi and Charlie Scott. Old Charlie Scott for the Phoenix Suns. That'll be for EA, who got the Suns in a spot random. Nice AI, the answer. All right, next box. All right. Well, the thing is, I think Bradley Beal's not a bad player at all by any by any means. But but yeah, maybe that that same deal that that uh, that Zach Lowe had had pitched for Bradley Beal that would be cool. Um, that'd be cool. I, I would. That'd be cool to see for Anthony Davis. Now, would. Would the Pelicans do that? I don't know. What, what's Anthony Davis' contract situation? Is this his last year? Oh, okay. So, sorry, G State Dubs. I missed that. You don't think the contracts work for Ingram and Beal, right? Beal makes too, too much money. I think Ingram's still on his rookie deal. Five to be Ingram, Ball, and Kuzma for Davis for starters. Oh, he's got one more year after, you think. Okay. Well, I guess if the Pelicans are going to trade him, you got to do it now, right? Otherwise, if it's next year, if you wait to his last year, then people, other teams may just wait until, until he hits free agency. So I think the trade value would be would be now because you can get him this year and you get another year of him before he if he tries free agency. There's Carl Malone. You get to, then you get a year and a half to try to convince him to stay in your city. Speaking of Brandon Ingram, there he is. I like Brandon Ingram a lot too, but Anthony Davis, I like even more. Nice Zaire Smith. There's fake rookie Josh Hart. Not a rookie this year. Well, yeah, and that's what that's what started this whole discussion, G State. I, I was just like, well, one of Lonzo or Brandon Ingram is going to get traded. Probably by the February deadline. There's Joe Ingles. And so, now I think, I think everyone's quick to say, oh, well, it's going to be Lonzo, but... Yeah, the numbers are showing that 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 Lonzo actually fits better with with LeBron, Lonzo and LeBron on the court together. They fit better. You know, as opposed to when there's Landry Schmidt for the Sixers. That, that'll be for Josh Proust and the Sixers. As opposed to Ingram and LeBron together on the court, which has not been as productive. I forget what the number. There there's some numbers of of how these players do, whether it's their per or whatever on, on the court together. Kent Bazemore at a 199. It'll be interesting to see for my Lakers. I mean, I'm excited that after, after so many... So many years just being so poor. 
The Lakers finally got some bad contracts out from under them. They've got their ownership situation kind of squared away. You know, they obviously got LeBron. They won the LeBron sweepstakes. Got some cap space. They've got some young players that they can audition this year. So a lot of it kind of kind of is coming together, which is nice. There you go. LeBron James, Silver, and Omari Spellman for the Hawks. Bretton Young with Omari. Where does Markel Fultz go? You think they're going to move Markel Fultz? Isn't he seeing a shoulder specialist at some point? I don't know. What's going on there? Seems like that's such a weird situation. All right. After this box, we'll be halfway through this break, folks. We are making good time here. Making excellent time, actually. Lakers down 102.78. Eight minutes left in fourth quarter. I don't know if they're going to pull this one out. Lakers, though. My Lakers are in the uh, in the seventh seed, rather. 11 and 8. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty solid. Team is still coming together. I think all the, all the young guys still got kind of getting used to playing with LeBron James. And we'll see what kind of trades are made by, by February. We'll see what happens. You got to think the Lakers, I mean, who's ahead of them right now? I mean, Clippers aren't going to be, in the Western Conference, Clippers aren't going to be in the one seat all season long. Warriors are eventually going to take that. Nuggets are looking good. Nuggets could be two. Could the Nuggets be two? Maybe. Oklahoma City Thunder, two or three around there. Rockets have to. Be, I mean, Rockets have had a weird start to the season, but you know you got to think that that they're going to be right in the mix by the end of the season too. Rockets have got to be in the top five somewhere. Another LeBron James Silver. I guess we'll save all these rookies too, these parallels. Dehunta Murray out of 149. Got Ryan Anderson and Matthew Delavadova. Sensational signatures. For John O'Gray and the Bucks. Markeith Morris out of two ninety nine. Costa Santa Tacumpo, silver. Wait, didn't the Mavs also have Seth Curry? Are they just getting the brothers of? <laughs> they're just getting the brothers of uh, out of one ninety nine of much better players. I don't want. It's Paul Pierce and Luka Doncic autograph. There's a sensational signature right there. For the Dallas Mavericks, Josh Reich with that one. Nice. Looks like the real deal, right? It's good for the hobby. There it is, Josh.
John Stockton. I know it says Lulu, right? Is that his nickname? Are we call are we calling him Lulu now? Skip to my Lou. Lulu. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now officially halfway through this break. We've got about another 30 or so minutes to go. What do you guys think? Who is the uh, who is an overrated team in the NBA, and who is underrated? What do you guys think? You got to think that the uh, Raptors aren't overrated, right? They're they're not one seed in the East right now. Bucks, I don't think are overrated. Sixers, not overrated. Pistons, no. Pacers, Celtics, Hornets, Hornets might no. Hornets look good too. Maybe, maybe the East is, they're rated right where they're supposed to be. No one feels overrated who's in the top eight right now. In the West, I think the Clippers are a little overrated. They're playing some good basketball. So they're a little overrated. Matt Tyne, you think Matt says Warriors overrated? Could be. I mean, without Steph Curry, they're definitely a different team. They're definitely much more beatable without Steph. Nuggets, are the Nuggets overrated? They're, they're, they're working my Lakers right now. 106.80 with five minutes left. Are the Nuggets overrated? You know what's hashtag good for the hobby? Jamal Murray. Like, go back two or three years. Dust off your Jamal Murray autographs. Because he's playing some good ball. Is Dante Exum. Eric Newton says Memphis. Right. They got to be a little overrated. There's no way that... No way that they, they keep playing their style of basketball in in a three point league and keep winning ball games. Nice Trey Young. Silver. Trey Young Silver for Brenton and the Hawks. Son Whiteside. I think the Celtics a little overrated. Oh, it says Madden Titan. And we got Lonnie Walker the fourth for the Spurs. That'll be Douglas Warden with the Spurs. Yes, I think Celtics. Gordon Hayward not not really playing. You know, I, there must be some. Uh, I mean. It's coming off a long layoff. So Gordon Hayward hasn't really worked into the team quite yet. There's Mari Carroll, 75. So they could be a little overrated. Pascal Siakam. What's going on with the Jazz? Utah Jazz are 9-12 and 12 to start the season. A lot of people saying that the Utah Jazz defense not playing not playing defense as well as they did last year. Some people also speculating that uh, the Jazz are may maybe kind of taking the uh, taking their foot off the gas a little bit. I think with their success last year, you know they're not as focused. They think, hey, we can just kind of cruise into the playoffs, but. And be the league is tough. Mari Spellman, Larry Nance Jr., Carl Anthony Towns, nice Kevin Knox, T. 
TJ Warren and Hamadou Diallo. Nice. Who I think has a, a severe ankle sprain instead of being out for the season as a lot of people thought, right? I think that's the guy. And that'll be for OKC Jason Cox with the Thunder. All right, next box. All right, so what about the rookies? Who's who's the real deal? And who's not the real deal? I think DeAndre Ayton's been been doing pretty playing pretty well, right? I like DeAndre Ayton. I actually don't know how Marvin Bagley is doing. I think Luka Doncic for the Mavs, they're saying he's the real deal. He looks pretty well, pretty good. Um I think Jaron Jackson's been playing well for the Mavs. Trey Young has been good. I actually don't know how Mo Bamba is doing. Or Wendell Carter Jr. I know Colin Sexton's been playing well. Kevin Knox? What's he been doing? That's pretty much your top 9 or 10 right there. I know 11th pick Shea Gildius Alexander for the Clippers. He's been playing some good basketball. People are happy with him. Clippers fans are happy with him here in L.A. Here's Draymond. Now we got to find some Celtics hits for you. Were we going to send Tatum base? That's pretty good for Luca. 19, 6, and 4. There's Miles Bridges. Out of 49. Charles Barkley, Suns edition, out of 149. And Rick Barry, 4 out of 25 for the Rockets. Nice. Oh, I don't know if that's going to work, Elvis. Al Kuzma. You pretty much have to be like, hey, <laughs> if there's a Tatum, set it aside really quick. So it'll go into the pile that gets sleeved and top loaded. Rajon Rondo, Lakers edition. Wait, did I miss a DeAndre Ayton silver? I don't think I did. Did I? No, I haven't seen one yet. Did I? Where? I don't think I did.
Um, shipping team will find it. If, if there was one. I, I didn't see one in there. Was it in the previous pile? There's Michael Bridges. I see. Well, shipping team will say I did see this though. Now the luck of the lottery, I think, was someone else. It was a different son. Luck of the luck of the lottery was a Michael Bridges, pretty sure. Which, you know, will still ship, but. If I go five, if, if I go five minutes past what I told everyone, Josh, I'll just I'll just blame you. Ian Clark got a one ninety nine. Remarking in Giannis. Kent Bazemore and Jared Vanderbilt. Nice Jared Vanderbilt autograph. Did he get any minutes in this game? No, oh, Laker. 117.85 Nuggets over the Lakers. Man. Does he get minutes? No, I don't think Vanderbilt gets minutes. Well, anyhow, that still goes to Calvin and the Denver Nuggets. All right, four boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Four boxes to go. We're almost there. Kind of a long break, but... Definitely worth it. A lot of the parallels do well on secondary market. Big rookie autos do extremely well on the secondary market. Prism's always really, really popular with the rookie sets. Same, like, just like Prism football is popular with the football crowd. Josh looking for a Luca Silver in one of the last four. It's got to be, right? I mean, if there's like, what, 22 some odd parallels per box. All right, good luck, everybody. Getting close to the end. There's Jared Allen. Scotty Pippen at a 149. Kareem Abdul Jabbar, that's pretty cool. 
Blake Griffin, Russell Westbrook. Damari Carroll, cracked ice to 99. And Michael Bridges for the Suns. Sensational signatures. Going to EA and the Suns. Got, got the Suns in a spot random. There you go, a little ink. Will Barton, Zach Collins, the 75 for the Trailblazers. Tony Parker to 199. DJ Augustine and points. I'll be randomized to one person in the break. So um, spot one will be the will be the Black Friday Cyber Monday promo spot. Spot two will get any and all points. Per tradition. All right. Next box. Looks like that Phoenix game is really close. Nine seconds left. Phoenix down by five. Man, I, I actually had a, a little bit of uh, financial interest, a little bit of financial investment, and the game is over. In Phoenix, uh, I thought they were going to win their fifth game. Beat the Pacers, who were on a road back-to-back. -back. On a road, road back-to-back. -back. Second of the back-to-back. -back. So I thought, oh. Good, good, good opportunity to take the Suns, but not this time. Dion Waiters. And Tyler Johnson, gold. Five out of ten. Nice one for the Miami Heat. Ed Ram. No, I did not see DeAndre Ayton getting his ankles broken. Who broke his ankles? I was watching the Lakers Nuggets game. There's Dame out of one ninety nine. Speaking of DeAndre Ayton, there he is. That's a nice parallel for the Suns. EA got the Suns in a spot random. All right, so these these red wave ones aren't numbered, but still nice. They'll, they'll all ship, of course. Jacob Evans the third for the Golden State Warriors, and for Bill Anton. Marvin Bagley, silver, nice. Sacramento Kings, that'll be now O, 21.
James Johnson. Justin Holiday. How many Holidays are in the league? Save one of these Jason Tatum's for Elvis. Billy Preston to 299. And we've got Glenn Rice. Nice Glenn Rice autograph going to Paul Nixon and the Hornets. Remember Glenn Rice? Got Rondé Hollis Jefferson out of 99. And JJ Reddick back here. Two boxes to go. All right, good luck, everybody. Two boxes to go. Uh, they are not numbered, Gilo. That's why I've been kind of breezing by those. They'll ship out, but I'm kind of breezing by those. This is a long, it's just like prison football, Brent. Prison football, full case prison football would be just as long. But a lot of great secondary market value in here. Like a lot of, a lot of those silver rookies going for 50 to 100 depending on the rookie but 50 to 100 bucks a pop something it's, that's that's something that's not too common that is not very common with uh with like something like prism football that's why the people are into it all right, out of 299, Mario Hazonia. So there's the red wave, Gilo. So no number on the back. But that will ship. J.R. Smith, Terrence Ross. Drew Holiday, Julius Randle. Eric Bledsoe out of 199. Michael Porter Jr., luck of the lottery. Jerome Robinson for the Clippers reveals. And Aaron McKee, remember Aaron McKee? Josh Proust in the Sixers. Chandler Parsons, 299. No, you don't remember Aaron McKee? It was he was part he was part of that AI team, wasn't he? That went to the finals against my Lakers back in the day. Silvers are not numbered. So there's Luke Kennard Silver. Not numbered. But they're pretty. They're relatively short printed. So depending on the, if the rookie silvers, that's not a silver, but the rookie silvers tend to do pretty well. 
Yeah, exactly, Ray. The sil the silver rookies really are the are the more popular ones. That's what everyone wants to get like graded and and whatnot. So Sensational Signatures Prism's Mojo. I think it's out of twenty five. Kyrie Irving. Nice one for the Celtics. That's for Elvis. Tony Parker looks weird in a... If you see him in a Charlotte Hornets uniform, looks weird. There you go, Elvis. Nice Kyrie. You're welcome, man. Towards the very end. All right. Exactly, Gilo. Gilo says, hey, I, I got a Tatum Silver last year out of a blaster box. Holy profit. Yeah, that's that's why this prison basketball is really popular for me. And ladies and gentlemen, this is just classic supply and demand. Think about think about how many rounds there are in the NBA draft. Just two. So there's a lot of focus on the first round rookies. Sometimes even the second round rookies can get you can get a little lucky there too. And think about how many how many basketball players on a roster. What, fifteen or so plus G League teams. How many how many of those players are getting regular minutes? Seven, eight. So, just a lot more exposure for the rookies. A lot more playing time. So it, it plus the international market, all that sort of stuff, kind of combines to to hoops being a pretty pretty lucrative uh, product here. We hope to do a lot more of this this year, next year, years to come. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. The Maker of Thons. Thon Maker out of 199. Nikola Jokic. Got a Marvin Williams. Donovan Mitchell. Taj Gibson. Gallinari. Got Wendell Carter Jr. Red. For EA and his Bulls. Eric Gordon. Kevin Huter. Silver. DeAndre Jordan. Brandon Ingram. Can you believe that? They, I just keep forgetting that they have a Demarcus Cousins as well. So imagine a healthy Steph Curry, healthy Demarcus Cousins. It's ridiculous. Evan Fournier, red to two ninety nine. Malik Monk. And look at this. Dominique Wilkins for the Hawks. Brenton with the Hawks. Nice break for the Atlanta Hawks. And Trey Young Purple to 75. Rajon Rondo to 99. <coughs> Excuse me.
And Dialu. No, <coughs> oh, I'm losing my voice already. All right, excuse me. Sorry about that. I'm dying here. Um, let's do some randomizers. I was pick your team two in the books, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get a blank list right here. Let's get everyone's names from Brenton all the way down to Nick. And let's roll the dice. The name on top, we'll get the Black Friday Cyber Monday spot. Second spot, we'll get the 250 points. After six times, five and a one. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Name on top, Ed Ram. There you go. After six times, Ed Ramos, you got the bonus. You're, so you're going to get a prize. You're going to get something, a random something. And Gilo. Gabe, you'll get the 250 points, a little consolation for you. And there you have it, folks. Pick your team two in the books. Prison basketball. I've got more in the store, so check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.